and welcome back to another video now i have a video that i filmed a year ago for you guys today well i didn't film this video a year ago but i've already filmed it um i filmed what's on my ipad literally just after i got my ipad so it's all still very new so i have decided to film a updated one for you all just so you can see how things have kind of adjusted and things on my ipad have changed what i've got on my ipad have changed um if you do like this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and go follow me over on instagram so that you can see what i'm up to as it's summer and even though we really can't do anything but anyway yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go okay so when i unlock my ipad this is the main screen that comes up i do only have this one page apart from obviously the bits that pull across but we'll go over that in a moment so we have this screen um to be honest with you there isn't a lot on here and a lot of you are probably asking well asking yourselves or thinking about how i get this background how these um folders have different fonts and if you want to know all that i'll leave the link to julia's channel in the description box down below she has some amazing videos to do with apple products so make sure you go check them out but as you can see on the top row here i just have messages facetime my calendar which i use quite a lot so i don't understand why that's not downloaded but anyway my mailbox which has far too many emails in and it's all junk mail but i literally just don't have the time to sit here and go through it so that's going to be a game for tonight that's for sure then we have my photos my camera my notes um i don't really use the notes app on here now that i have my writing app which i'll go through in a moment then we have the itunes store which again i literally don't use on my ipad because my ipad's more of a watch tv or kind of university i don't really use it for anything else and um, then we have the app store which obviously you have to use we have settings which explainable the apple store which comes with the new ipads i believe as well which basically is you can access the apple store on here without having to go on to say google or something like that then we have spotify the love of my life use spotify for everything that's why you can see that the apple music original app isn't downloaded because i don't really use that to be fair it is more spotify for me then we have the google app i prefer that over the safari but sometimes with my uni stuff it doesn't work on there which is a tiny bit annoying but yeah we have shortcuts which i don't really use so i'm not too sure why i haven't put that in a folder yet but it's fine then we have the folders so the first folder is social media now i don't really have social media on my ipad because as i explained to more as i explained before oh my god i can't speak today i use it more for university and watching shows and stuff like that so i just have facebook messenger and tiktok because who isn't addicted to tiktok nowadays then we're moving on to the productivity um folder now a lot of these are undownloaded but i do use them so i don't know what's going on here but it's fine so we have powerpoint obviously i use that to access the powerpoints that my lecturers give me word for essays etc and stuff like that one note i've started using one note over word to be honest but it's not possible to write an essay in one note so i still have to have word for that calculator don't really use that to be honest with you train line now before corona and covid and everything else i use this all the time so yeah i've just literally undownloaded that one for now because i don't use it then we have the gift keyboard um google calendar i want to get into using this again because i used it last year and it was a lot easier than using the actual calendar app that's on my ipad but anyway then we have new york times just so i can keep up to news that's going on in america because i don't know it just seems to be everywhere so it's nice to have an app where i can just quickly find it all together then we have the kindle app so that has quite a lot of books from university and also ones i like to read as well then we have um, Apple Books, again, university books or books I want to read. Pages, I don't really use that. Um, Notion is a new addition to my iPad. I'm gonna try using that next year. I've seen so many people rave about Notion for a student, so that's my next aim with that one. Then we have iTunes U, which again, I literally don't use, so it's just in there. Then we have my Files app, which allows me to access anything that's on my laptop so it's downloaded onto my iPad as well, which is obviously helpful. Then we have Audible. I've just started using Audible. And to be honest, for someone who likes reading, I do kind of like Audible because it's nice to put my headphones in and kind of get on my cleaning while having a book in the background. Then we have my entertainment app. Now, a lot of these are undownloaded because I needed some space. Um, 
so I can just re-download them when I need to. But we have ITV Hub, um, My5, Now TV, Prime Video, Netflix, of course. Wattpad, I'm kind of into fan fiction at the moment, so that's on here. Um, all four, BBC iPlayer, Nintendo Switch. Now, I used to use that sometimes with um, a friend of mine so we could talk when we were playing Animal Crossing together, but it actually turns out to be easier just to use Snapchat, so that says it all really with fill that app. Then we have Pinterest. Obviously, I love Pinterest so much. Like, all my life is literally congested in Pinterest, so all my events, I have different events kind of, like, planned out for outfits and stuff like that. Then we have Disney Plus. So Disney Plus has become something during lockdown. That was a lifesaver and I started watching all the old Disney films and it's just crazy. I just can't believe I used to watch them as a kid and now I can watch them again. So that makes me happy. Then we have the Heart Radio Station. Um, this has been my favourite radio station to listen to at the minute because I just don't know. Like Amanda Holden just makes me chuckle, but yeah. Then we have Apple TV, which obviously if you have Apple, a lot of the time you'll use it. So... We're gonna move on to the next one. So the next one is my editing folder. Now to be fair, I don't really use this. Um, layout I use more on my phone, but sometimes if I'm creating a multi kind of picture from now, I'll do it on here because it's bigger and a lot easier to use. Perfect video, so if I'm screen recording stuff like this or screen recording music to put in the background of my videos, this allows me to pull it onto my laptop without losing the sound. I'm not too sure if I'm doing something wrong there or what, but yeah. And then we have video stars so i've kind of been playing around with video star a little bit to try and learn some new transitions and stuff so that's fun always fun <laughs> and then we have the fonts app which is how i got these beautiful little fonts above the folders so that is definitely the app i'd recommend using then we're going to move on to the shopping app so kalana is a lifesaver if you are like me and you're a student and you are poor this app is amazing for buying an outfit and paying it off each month. Now, I'm not saying get credit, get yourself in credit debt, but it is amazing and I love it. But you do have to be 18 over, 18 and over to use this. Please don't use it if you're under 18 because you're ruining it for us that are. <laughs> then we have the My McDonald's app because, yeah, just why not? Just download and um, have it on there so I can go get food. Then we have the In The Style app as well, because a lot of the time when I was ordering loungewear for um, studying at home, this is where I'd go to. And then we have Extras app, which is, well, the folder, sorry, not app, which literally is just all the stuff that comes on the iPad that I don't use on here at all. So um, that's just kind of in there and out the way. Then we have the Car app, which I actually only had as a trial when Harry Styles released his book um but now i'm kind of hooked on it and it was quite a cheap um subscription that i had to pay for the year and it's so good for like if you have anxiety and you want to calm down it kind of gives you that meditation kind of feel and as well if you can't sleep this app is absolutely amazing and then we have photoshop so i've only just started using photoshop my first ever from now um with photoshop is for this video so hopefully it looks okay and you all think it's okay if not then i'm just going to go back to using powerpoint but it's fine i'm trying new things then we're going to be down to the bottom bar down here so the bottom bar literally has the apps that i use the most on my ipad <laughs> so we have the instagram app obviously because i have to keep up with instagram safari because as i said sometimes um downloading files from university doesn't work on the google app but it works on the safari app which is a little bit weird um, then we have good notes so good notes is how i make notes on my ipad if you want to see an updated um how i make notes on my ipad because i know obviously going back to university and like students going to university these videos become very popular this time of year but everybody does their notes differently that's all i'm going to say is everybody does their notes differently on an ipad so definitely let me know if you want to see one of those then we have youtube obviously it's so it's essential essential when it comes to watching creators and stuff and then we have skillshare so i'm literally hooked on skillshare learning new things this is how i learned how to do photoshop and i'm currently using it to learn how to use premiere pro as well which is very exciting but that is pretty much what's on this part of my screen and then we're gonna put
we're gonna move it over here so as you can see i have the weather app up here i'm gonna have to blur out where i live thank you weather app then we have my next calendar um notification which is the one direction live stream on tuesday which i'm excited for and then we have the siri suggestions app um news obviously isn't going to show up because my ipad's on airplane mode screen time map destinations i'm not too sure why that's on there but it's fine stocks again won't show because it's on there um tips sometimes this can be a little bit helpful but sometimes not and then it just shows my batteries normally my apple pencil and my airpods are up here as well and shortcuts which i just haven't had any luck using but that kind of sums up that section and that's pretty much what's on my ipad okay so that is the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it as i mentioned at the beginning make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this and give this video a big thumbs up but apart from that i'll see you next week for a new video bye